Okay guys, um, I'm gonna try to do this really quickly just to walk you through some calculating angle of impact problems, um, just so that you can have a little bit of maybe assistance and guidance as you go through this worksheet. So we're gonna start with blood droplet A right here. Um, and we're gonna start by taking a measurement and we wanna find the minor. That's what our first step does. Well, our first step says we're gonna make sure that our calculator is in degrees and not radians. Um, I want to show you my iPad calculator, but I'm using my iPad to film, so I can't. I'm showing you on my phone. So down here in this lower left corner, I want to make sure that um, this button is toggled so that it says degrees up here. So this says radians. I don't want radians. I want degrees. So I'm going to hit degrees, and now there's just nothing up there. So now I'm, I know I'm in an okay place. I'm ready to go. So that's my first step. Um, then I'm going to clear out my calculator so I'm ready to go. And now my next step is I'm going to find the minor measurement on my blood droplet. So I'm going to start with blood droplet A so that you can see where I got my example answers from here. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to make sure that I'm looking at the metric side. I want to be looking where there's millimeters. Um, and I'm just going to line up this zero point, this zero line, and I'm going to try to find kind of the waist of the blood drop. So um, the part of the blood drop that is the widest. And so if I measure across here, I'm looking at about eight and a half millimeters. So my minor is gonna be about eight and a half millimeters. If I turn my paper and I measure from the end, so the first thing I wanna comment is I have a symmetrical blood drop here. So this is a nice, perfect ellipse. Your first four are really easy because they are perfect. Um, the other ones are not as perfect and they're gonna be a little trickier. So here I have a nice symmetrical ellipse here. So I'm just gonna go from one end to the other and from end to end, I'm looking at about 32 millimeters. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that in here as the sine of theta is equal to 8.5 millimeters, that's the minor, over 32 millimeters, that was my major. And then when I do the math, I'm just gonna do 8.5 divided by 32 equals, and that's gonna give me 0.265625. Now, when I wrote it down on my paper, I went ahead and rounded, I actually truncated, I didn't even round, um, and I cut it off, and that's fine, I can do that. But I'm gonna leave the whole thing in my calculator so that the calculator will do some of the work for me without me having to write everything down. I've got enough down there that I can figure out later if something goes wrong, I can figure out what went wrong. And so now all I need to do, I've, so I've got the sine of theta equals this number, but I need to get theta by itself because theta is the angle. So what I need to do is the opposite of sine and the opposite of sine is an inverse sine or an arc sine. So on my calculator, um, probably if you open up your calculator, it's gonna look like this and you're gonna see sine. Well, we don't want sine, we want the arc sine or the inverse sine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this second button, and now when I hit that second button, I have this sine to the negative one. That's the opposite of sine. So that's like doing a divide instead of a multiplier, a subtract instead of a, a plus, an add. Um, so I've got now this arc sine. So I've got my number up here, I can see my inverse sine, and on this particular calculator, all I need to do is hit that, and my calculator is gonna give me the inverse sine of that number. So I've got 15.4040936, blah, 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 blah. When we, need to, when we do degrees and angle of impact, I only need you to go to the nearest whole degree. So we're gonna take 15.4, and we're gonna call it 15 degrees, and we're just gonna write in 15 degrees here. So this is how we're gonna do it. Go ahead, stop. Try B by yourself, pause, do B by yourself, and then come back to this video and see if you did it correctly. But really, truly do it by yourself and come back. Don't just watch me do it and copy it down. Try it by yourself first. Okay, pause, pause. Okay, so let's see what happens with B. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take a look and try to find my widest spot here. So my major is going to be, it looks to be about 20 millimeters. And then I'm going to turn and my major or my uh, minor this way 
actually looks to be about 18 and a half millimeters. Mm, I'm gonna call it, mm, yeah, I'm gonna call it 18 and a half millimeters. So I've got the sign, you guys can't see me writing. I'm gonna do the sign of theta equals 18.5 millimeters over 20 millimeters. So I've got my problem written in there and now I'm gonna do the math. So I'm gonna come over here, clear everything out. I'm gonna do 18.5 divided by 20 and that's gonna give me 0.925. So the sine of theta equals 0 0.925 and now I'm just gonna do the inverse sine of that and I've got 67.668 blah, 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 blah. So I'm gonna call that theta equals 68 degrees. Hopefully you got something close to that. If you are off by maybe a millimeter either direction on either number, you might get a wildly different angle. That's okay, that's why it's really super important that you show your work. So if you called this 19 and 20, then you're gonna get something different. But if I can see that you called this 19 and 20, then that's okay. If you call this 12 and 20, we have a bigger problem and we need to see what's going on with your measuring. Okay, the last thing I wanna show you before I let you go on with the rest of this worksheet is that um, you can actually measure using a protractor too. It's just that the inside of the protractor here is where you can see millimeters. So you just need to line up that inside of the protractor to get your measurements. And if you line it up here, that's a ruler as well. Just be really careful not to use this outer edge because that's inches. Okay, good luck.